Hey card game fans, and welcome to the second half of our Digimon TCG video series, sponsored by Bandai. In the first video, we talked about playing the TCG, but in this one, we're gonna focus on collecting it, featuring a booster box opening of the newest English set. Let's talk about it. All right, so here we go. We've got the package. Digimon Card Game Special Booster version 1.5. For those of you guys a little confused about the name, the first two English booster sets are version 1.0 and 1.5, and each of those sets contains a mix of cards from the first three Japanese sets. For those of you guys who have never seen a Digimon Card Game, or at least the new Digimon Card Game cards, want to know what we're working with, here are the card types. We've got commons, uncommons, rares, super rares, and secret rares. Once we get to regular rares, that's where you start to get a little fancy with the gold borders. And then here is the, the beginning of the mother load. Super rares, where you have the foil or holographic treatment, whatever you want to call that. And I, I'd show you the secret rares that I own, except I don't own any yet. <laughs> so hopefully we pull one in this box. However, both super rares and secret rares also have these bad boys alternate arts, which are just absolutely gorgeous. A lot of them feature this sort of two-tone style of art where it looks like a manga illustration, just a little bit of color. They are extremely sick. Final thing before we go ahead and open her up is I've created this sort of badge metric to give you guys a little more context about the cards that I'm personally looking for. I'm gonna do a, uh, this one here, if it's one of the top most wanted cards on the market, most valuable, most tradable, whatever you want to call it. Um, this one here, if I think it's a particularly strong card, I know we're going to focus more on the collection aspect, but as somebody who loves playing card games and meta games, I'll talk a little bit about cards if I pull them and they're part of a deck that I want to make. And then finally, I'll, I'll throw this bad boy down there if it's just one of my personal favorite Digimon, either from a show or game that I've played in the past. Let's do it. So here we, oh yeah. Uh, so before we even get to the backs, there are two different sort of box topper bonus cards. So here we got our, our plain box topper here. And this has kind of a fun like wavy foil pattern. I think I'm gonna keep it in the wrap here, but it's Gururumon. I'm a big fan of all things Matt and Gururumon and it's million forms. So this is actually a sick one for me. And we've also got the special box promotion pack. I think there are, yeah, there are six total cards that it can be here. And I believe you get a set of two. So we're either going to get uh, more Garurumons, um, the Agumon Greymon combo, or a uh, Vidramon, and also a tie as the final combo, uh, a blue tie. So let's go ahead. It's been a hot minute since I've done like a collection or uh, an opening style video. I done a ton of openings on streams, but uh, it's kind of nostalgic going back to openings. I used to do them a bunch. Uh, my wife used to do them a bunch, and I would do guest appearances in those on Renee Collects. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're bringing it back. Total retro here. And hey, we got the poster child, Agumon and Greymon. And these are really cool. If you look at them at face value, like from the right angle, it looks like there's no foil at all. And then boom, you're getting wavy with it. Side. Let's open some packs. Let's do it. I want to say, oh, and by the way, I haven't talked about specific cards, but pff, right here at the front, we see Omnimon, sometimes known as Omega Mon, its original language. Uh, this is by far the biggest chase card of the set, just in terms of value and playability. And it's, it's, I think it's the most popular Digimon. There was a, uh, sort of poll that happened recently, or at least I saw a 2021, saw a 2015 poll. It's just always Omnimon is king when it comes to just Digimon everything in this game. So we're going to go ahead and open her up. I think they just put the rares at the back, so I don't have to do any trick, but uh, let's let's go ahead and go through them. Hawkmon, Volcanic Flare, your option cards, Penguinmon, Magna Angemon. I know that there's a handful of Angemon and Angewoman woman <laughs> in the deck. Uh, Giromon. 
Necrophobia. We got with a uh, Mummy Mon on it. Oh, hey, here's a card to talk about. Argomon. It's just a common. This is one of just two cards that are limited in the card game right now. You can only have one copy of this in the deck. And that's just because it's so good. Um, has the Digisorption ability, which lets you Digivolve by suspending one of your Digimon to make it cheaper. Combined with another card, which I'm sure we'll get. Uh, I think it's Hidden Potential Discovered. Just made green, like, way too good, way too oppressive. It still is good, even with the restrictions, but it's uh, just kind of fun to see. It was also the first Digimon enemy in the new Digimon anime. And you're going to see a lot of Argomon. Uh, you'll see. Gatomon, another old school fan favorite. Kakinmon. There's going to be a couple of Digimon that I probably butchered the pronunciation for. Please have mercy for me. Oh, hey, we got Gatomon and Black Gatomon. Purple type tends to have some of the more, like, quote unquote, evil creatures. Vmon. Oh, this is the jamming Vmon. Well, this is uh, another one of the most powerful cards in the set right off the bat. This rare Vmon. The jamming ability makes it so that even though it is a weaker rookie Digimon, it cannot be deleted in battles against security Digimon. It's part of a whole archetype to its own called Rookie Rush, where you run forward with low cost Digimon and wear down your opponent's security. This is an extremely good card. I'll take as many as I can get. And yeah, so we, oh wow, <laughs> and Aero Vidramon. I'm actually looking for X Vmon, but it is just kind of cool to see the, uh, the double Vs. There's a lot of V support in this set. I don't know the exact number of cards. I know on here, like it says 152 types per total, but that is just the number of types. That does not include the alternate arts. So it's probably somewhere in the 160, 170 range. Gonna go ahead, fire up another <laughs> Omnimon Alter S pack. At least I'm hoping. If we pull the Omnimon Alter S, I'll actually go nuts. Or, well, as nuts as I can go. You guys know me. I, I'm pretty reserved. I'm not the most pop off kind of guy, but we'll see. <laughs> we got Rapidmon, Seedramon, another early Digimon enemy, Candlemon, Tia Ludomon. Oh boy, <laughs> I know that it's like a Trurimon. <laughs> my my pronunciation is so bad. Cherry Blast. Kunemon. Ludomon. And it, it, like the art on these is just insane. Birdramon. Every single regular Digimon, the art takes up like four fifths of the card. I could get used to every card game doing that. Upamon. It's one of our uh, sort of egg hatches. We've got a rare Shakuman. Oh, man. And I see that is not just a regular rare border coming out on the outside. We got our first big hit. Oh, my gosh. Omnimon. <laughs> I just joked. I said we were going to pop off if we got it. You're kidding me. Well, don't watch the rest of the video. All right. <laughs> don't, watch, don't watch the rest of the video. That's it. It's over. I pulled the best card in the second pack. This is the most sought after card uh, in the set. Popularity, strength, it's level seven. Its ability is insane. There's so much text in here. Um, and this is really cool. You don't see this in the online images, but you can see the foil is just over like the lightning cracks. That is gorgeous. I'm just leaving that up right away. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know what to do with the rest of these packs. <laughs> That's unbelievable. So yeah, uh, this card, when you digivolve it, it has this insane effect where it de-digivolves your, I think it's your opponent's entire field. De-digivolves their entire field and anything with 5,000 power afterwards is immediately destroyed. It is a board clearing card. Red is probably the most consistent and popular deck in the meta. And that's our secret rare. <laughs> so just a couple seconds ago, I was like, hey, never seen a secret rare before. There it is. That's what they're like. They have a special foil pattern along the card itself. I don't know if uh, you can get two secret rares, but uh, another Omnimon would probably be the only way I could top this. There's a lot of other good cards too that I'm looking for, like uh, Shine Greymon and Sarismon, but that was it. That was the number one. <laughs> I, I run so hot. Speaking of hot, we got Larvamon, Rapidmon, Clockmon, Skull Maramon. Oh, this was one of my favorites as a kid. 
Absolutely loved the sort of like a uh, biker look with the chains. Uh, Terurimon. Uh, Antilamon. B Cyclone. Lopmon. I think there's a Lopmon and Terriermon stuff in this set. Poramon. Boncho Stingmon. This card's actually, uh, it's not even a rare, but it's supposed to be quite good. It's really good at Digimon. Yeah, uh, well, it would be good against Omnimon Alter S, for example. Um, when it battles Digimon that are 12,000 or DP or more, it gets plus 7,000. So this is the uh, the really good card Slayer, the God Slayer. We got Mimi, our first Tamer card as a rare. And our second rare or better. Hey, XVmon! Was just talking about this. So this is sort of the core of the Rookie Rush deck, where Vmon can run through security without getting destroyed. X Vmon can unsuspend a level four low, lower Digimon, so you can sort of use it to run Vmon in multiple times jamming. They synergize super well. X gonna give it to you. This is crazy. This is gonna be the opposite of what you would want for pacing. <laughs> and that's the problem, <laughs> is when, when you're doing an opening, you can't really edit the order that the packs are opened. I'll edit when I stumble my words or whatever, <laughs> so you guys don't hear me sound like a complete moron. But um, that's it. All the best stuff is at the beginning. All the most interesting stuff. Uh, we got Arukenima or uh, yep, Arukenimon. <sighs> I always struggle with that one. It's it has a slightly different name in Japanese. I remember, but these cards are super dark. I was reading like it works with the flavor text where you can delete this Digimon in sort of a sacrifice to create Malomyotismon. Uh, that scene messed me up as a kid. It was so dark. Uh, both Arukenimon and Mamimon have effects to do that. Lightning Paw. We got Gatomon. This is the one of the anti-Rookie Rush cards. Destroys, uh, or minus 4,000 DP for level 3 Digimon. Anti-Rookie Punch. Tankmon. Gargomon. Garudamon. Skullmaramon again. Garurumon, this is the same as the box topper that we got, just different art. You know, it's funny. Well, besides the foil, I actually like this art a little bit better. It sort of shows that it is a security Digimon, antivirus. It's in the system. This is the other card that's limited right now. One of just two. Hidden potential discovered. Just makes your green Digimon Digivolutions a lot cheaper. Combined with the download ability. And there's also some crazy Sarasmon combos that you could do with it. So you only get one copy. And still, if you're playing green, you'll probably play it because it's just that good of a card. Got Bastimon. <laughs> Very <laughs> well-rounded card. <laughs> no, uh, but for real, these um, these Digimon that are 8,000, they're just vanilla. Um, but level two, or they only cost two to Digivolve. They're pretty popular um, in the decks, at least as far as the meta goes right now. Just because that's a really cheap cost to pay to get up to 8,000. We got a rare Ophanimon. And our second rare or better is Ken. We've got a lot of Digimon. I noticed uh, Adventure 2.0 support. I think the best one in this set is probably Davis. So I'm hoping to get more of those. Oh, man. So I just had my moment. <laughs> On my streams, I called these Charlies. It's like a Charlie in the Chocolate Factory where... He sees just, just a little bit of that golden twinkle. Oh man, I might have just gotten the golden ticket in my chocolate bar. We got the golden something. We, we got a super rare better coming up. We got uh, Dokogumon, Mummymon, who I was just talking about. That is amazing art from Mummymon, by the way. Deletes itself as a way to summon Malomyotismon. So dark, so sad. Vorvamon. Gargamon. Agumon yellow. Agumon is in so many colors in this game. It's typically red, but there's yellow. I know that there's a green. Sukumon, the poo himself. Goldramon. Code cracking, this option card. Salamon. There's also a rare version of this. Oh, oh I just ruined it. <laughs> I double pulled. Another Aravidramon, but we got an alternate art! Kreskarurumon! So we, this might be the best. Like, I, I don't know if we'll pull another alternate art <laughs> or secret rare. We've topped out. We opened it in reverse order. But these are just so amazing. Look at this. You've got like uh, the swords in the background. 
This one, uh, because it's a focus on like the black color, it's both black and red. It literally looks like it's straight out of a manga. Very, very cool card. And I was just talking about how much I like the Garurumon variations. We just got another one for the big bad wolf. We take those. Sort of uh, go quicker through the commons as we get ones that we have already gotten. But uh, Potamon's new. That Godamon art might be new. There's a bunch of those in here. No Angel Woman yet. Um, I think we'll get one eventually. Raiju Ludomon. Another Kunemon. Eating some shrooms. Biomon taking a nap. Adorable. Flymon. Minomon. Puppet Pummel. That's our option. Joe. All right, so we're getting more tamers here. Joe's really good in if you want to make like really big defensive black decks. Uh, they're built all around blockers. If we pull a cranium on, I'll talk more about that, but solid tamer. And our other one is Metal Greymon. I didn't realize that there was a Metal Greymon in here. So one of the most iconic Digimon ever. Even though it isn't the number one strongest deck type in the meta, I found myself really enjoying messing with black builds because that effect is just so good. Being able to have additional blockers or more effects that just sort of say no to your opponent. Howling Crusher, Aruramon, Gazimon. These are like all new. This is like a whole new set. Uh, Bifrost. Okay, well, that, there we go. There's a repeat. But uh, Saber Draymon, that's new. Lava. Oh, so, so here's another example of just one of those big vanillas uh, with a Lava Garidamon. 8,000. Two to Digivolve. That's just good value. I think we're getting another Charlie in moment, guys. I think we're charlie -ing. I see something. I'm feeling something. <laughs> Demi Vimon. Ankleo Mom. Zubamon. Hey, so our rare is uh, Rina Shinomiya. And this is really cool. This is something that I've started to notice, especially in the later sets of the Digimon card game. But this is a character that's from the video games. Um, I saw her in Cyber Sleuth. I think she's from uh, the earlier games, even beyond that, like the 3DS ones. She uh, is actually used in some decks, but um, she specifically <laughs> gets a card with V in its name. I think she has a Vmon named VV, so that makes sense. But uh, it's just fun to see more representation, not just from the anime, but also the games. And oh my gosh! Perfect combination! <laughs> Card with V in its name. Well, we got Old Force Vidramon. This is another, uh, it's not one of the strongest decks in the meta, but it's a crazy card where you could build this big combo with tamers and you could potentially attack six times in a row with it. And so this is literally the build. This is the combo. That's the synergy. Three super rares or better so far. I'm telling you guys, stop now. The end of the video is going to be terrible. <laughs> Just going to be opening repeats. <laughs> so far, everything's new. Everything's fresh, though. It's so exciting. We got Merrimon, Commandramon. Going through a few more repeats. I think this is our first Angemon. Yeah, I would have noticed. There we go. Another classic card. Those uh, TKs from Adventure appears a ton of times. I think there's a couple of variations of him as well. Garudamon, Arctic Blizzard, Gatomon, Zudomon. Another favorite of mine. That's in the theme deck. Uh, this one's just a vanilla, but the theme deck one has a really fun effect. Kakinmon. Paledramon. That's our first appearance of that. Paledramon's really cool. Uh, I actually already have this. So even though Digimon can't evolve just color to color, sometimes they actually have effects where it specifically boosts a specific Digivolution. So for example, Paledramon, if you have Imperial Dramon on top of it, um, gets a special effect where it's unsuspended um, if it has it in its name when attacking. So that, that's a huge buff. That's basically an extra attack. So they synergize, which is really cool. And we also have Sylphie Mom as our other rare. It's just fun to see so much variety. And then the art is so good. I want to sit and like stop. Like I could stop at any card. Wow, look at uh, Dokugumon. <laughs> look at Mega Seedramon. Like these are for... That, that's all you can really ask for in terms of art quality for a card game. They are gorgeous. Betamon, this is also used in Rookie Rush. Arctic Blizzard. <laughs> Agumon. Commandermon. 
Saikemon looks just like a Gabumon. Kind of like Black Gadumon, basically. Vidramon. We have to stop fighting. Oh, this is nostalgic. This art is obviously calling back to the original Digimon card game. Another card, though, that is uh, very strong in Rookie Rush because it prevents Digimon from being deleted in battle. So you can just keep pushing forward with your weak Digimon. They're not deleted. You're good. Give me Marimon. Oh, hey, the big bad himself. We talked about the two cards that call it forward. Mallow Myotismon. This guy gave me absolute nightmares as a kid. Still uh, pretty terrifying now. And Stingmon. I think that's our first uh, regular Stingmon. Kind of lost count at this point on how far we are in the packs. Oh, whew, uh, noth nothing's happening. This is a boring pack. You can skip this one. Nothing special here. Beast Cyclone. Penguin Mon. You know, I don't think I've pulled any rare option cards yet. But there are a few I wanted to talk about. Especially the yellow one, since I really like that deck. Flymon. With, um, what is the yellow called? Uh, Shine Greymon. Demi Vimon. Hey! So here's our first one. Uh, Bry Ludramon as our rare. And beyond it, we got something! Boom! Kreskarurumon! So this is the second one. Now I can show you guys the uh, the side-by-side -side on this. With the alternate art. I just realized I've got one in a blue sleeve and one in a white sleeve, which looks kind of weird. But there you go. So both. Same card. Pretty solid card. There's some fun builds that you can make around it, but so gorgeous. We got Duramon. I swear. <laughs> I'm going to start pulling from the bottom of the booster box so that there's at least something cool that shows up at the end. <laughs> Saber Duramon. Yeah, we, we've, we've got a few repeats here. We'll go quicker through this. Another Lightning Paw. Uh, Tia Ludamon. Seen these. This is the first big boy Argomon that we've seen. The Ray of Victory. Greymon. Oh, I just read it. I just read it. We were just talking about this card, but first we've got Grace Cross Freezer and Craniumon! Big defensive card in the black subgroup. Yeah, when opponent's Digimon attacks, you can block with it, so it's a 12,000 blocker. And also, your Digimon with blocker can't be deleted by your opponent's effects. So there's a lot of big defensive decks that you can build around this where you would also then use the Joe option card. Do I dare start pulling from the bottom? <laughs> We still have so many packs left. I'm going to do it. I'm going to start pulling from the bottom, at least on this stack. We'll do this one from the top, this one from the bottom. Hopefully I can uh, pad things out here. I'm literally going to just just do that. Because <laughs> uh, if, my, if my math is correct, based on what I was watching from other people's videos, you usually get around seven big hits. I also have no control over the narrative. This is uh, the Digimon card game's wild ride. <laughs> So now we're finally getting to that territory where we've sort of completed all the commons. Not all the uncommons. Hey, here's our first uh, Angel Woman. Yeah, this is just a common, so still haven't seen that yet. There's also a rare in this set. A Delicate Plan. Our first one of that, which I just love watching them play the Digimon card game. On um, the Digimon card game. Ludamon. Airdramon. Another uh, Briar Ludramon. And Cherubimon. First one of that. I don't think we've seen too much yellow in general so far. Yeah, just just a few in our rares are better. There we go. That's how we'll even the story out. <laughs> Opening the bottom of the packs. They put all the good ones on top. We got uh, yellow Aguma. A few more repeats. Subo Eagerman. Another lightning paw. Got a full set of that. Actually, you might as well want a full set of Betamon since they are absolutely used in Rookie Rush. Oopamon. I don't know if we've gotten Terriermon yet. This one's just chilling on top of a stoplight. Love it. Another Grace Cross Freezer. I'm still hoping for the yellow card because um, that one's really important. And Durandamon, which I think we've gotten already. That's the secret, guys. Pull from the bottom. Like, I'm genuinely trying to think of which, like, regular rares I'm looking for. Super rares, like, the only thing I could still hope for in this box is, like, another Shine Greymon or a Sarismon. I did pull one Shine Greymon uh, in the past in, like, loose leaf packs, so another one of these buddies would be incredible. 
But I don't have Sarismon yet, and I still would love to run green. Kakamon, Mega Seedramon. Here we go, through the song and dance. More Seedramon, Ray of Victory. We've pulled all the V for victory cards. I think this is the first one of this Argomon that we've seen. Yeah, they're all just Argomon all the way up. Just pretty rare. Hey, there we go. There's there it is. This is what I wanted to talk about. Glorious burst. So both these cards build around having a bunch of tamers in play. You flood your board full of a bunch of yellow tamers, and then you can basically wipe out a Digimon immediately. This card is cheaper. Nine cost would normally be super expensive. It's cheaper if you have a bunch of tamers. Shine Greymon, if you have a bunch of tamers, you exhaust them and then can immediately delete something off the board. Very fun deck to play with, and I'm hoping to get more support for it. And here's the rare Salamon that I was talking about a little bit earlier. That, that was a very yellow pack after me <laughs> sort of asking for more. So what do I need to ask for now? How about a Sarismon? Somewhere in there, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Well, we, we got something. <laughs> the bottom of the pack strategy failed us. No, <laughs> we got... Gargamon, another Arukenimon, Skull Marimon, a lot of baddies here. Geogramon. I don't know if we've pulled one of these yet. Yeah, Algamon can be yellow, can be green, can be red, blue, whatever it wants. Death Parade Blaster. Valkyriamon. A oh, Valkyriamon. That's our uh, first one of these. More Angemon forms. Minomon. Vidramon. Our rare, <laughs> our rare is Brave Shield, and our super rare is Blitz Greymon. Absolutely super good card in red. I've, I've also seen it in black, but uh, especially in red, super good, super aggressive card. Can play well where you do this card into the Omnimon Alter S. You go level 6 to level 7. Red is... Probably by far sort of public enemy number one top tier meta deck right now. Doesn't mean that it doesn't lose to other decks, but still extremely good. We absolutely take those. We now have six. If our lucky number is seven, that means we may only have one super rare left in the whole box. Let us hope that I pull it in the last pack. I can't believe it. They didn't design this product around the narrative of online content creators. What were they thinking? Magna Angemon. Oh, here, wait. I tried to keep my rares in a separate pile. There we go. So here we go. Another one of these Argomon. You can only play one in a deck now, but it is insanely good. A Trurimon. Necrophobia. Big Argomon, which actually still can see uh, some play. As in, like a more aggressive grain deck. Another arena, we'll take those since we uh, already got the old force. And Rise Greymon. Again, Agumon and his line, they, they go in so many colors. They went with um, Geo and Rise there in yellow. Narrative so far not saved. <laughs> Tia Ludamon. Gomamon. I think that's the first Gomamon we've pulled. Ah, Clavis Angemon. There we go. So we're getting a few more of these alternate forms for the Angies. Gurumon. Gurumon. Um, the security version. Hey, uh, Etimon is our rare. And hey, uh, Metal Mammimon. This was one of my favorites as a kid. Just It's so simple. It's just uh, the little, what they call them, like the Smiling Bomber. Like, or that's Mammimon, but just another... Set of cards, super nostalgic from my childhood, from the old adventure anime. We've got uh, Zuba Eager Bomb. Jewel Beam Bomb. I don't think we've seen that yet. I Still, yeah, and we definitely haven't seen Positron Laser, because I was definitely going to talk about how that's a strong card. It's a big part of the Rookie Rush deck. It works with blue and green, which is why that deck usually runs both those colors. Runs a little bit of green with the blue. Shamanmon. Whatever the cycles are in the packs, this one's like, oh, hey, here's a bunch of commons you've never seen before. Yep. Small Argomon. Haven't gotten that yet. Holy Wave. Haven't gotten that yet. The other Vmon. Not the good one, but it's still nice to see. We have seen Bastimon. Hidden Potential Discovered. Only needed the one copy of that. Wormmon. That's new. That's green. Speaking of green, how about a Sarismon? Not here, but maybe later. Scrap Call as our rare. 
All right, so we got the final count. One, two, three, four, five. We got six packs left. So that's not so bad if we save a super rare. You again? <laughs> it's, it's a lot of you agains at this point. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I just kind of want to set it back down. <laughs> Having that Charlie moment. Oh, no. I've never been... Okay, so first of all, we got the rare Angie Woman. Super nostalgic. And maybe our final super rare better. Hey, it's Sarisman! Let's go! It's one of the two I wanted the most out of the ones that were left. Extremely good control card, sort of powers most green builds. Not only does it have Digisorption, where you can get it out for cheaper, you can also combine it with the Hidden Potential Discovered card that's limited, but it also has this nasty skill where when you do Digisorption, you can suspend your opponent's Digimon. So uh, it's just a super oppressive, super good control card. This is a really cool Digimon. I want to say that this one also originated in the games, but it has like the, uh, I can't remember if it's called the Medium or the Avatar that actually sits on top of it. It's this big like goddess Digimon. The uh, alternate art for it actually does show like the Medium on the side in like the manga style, which is really cool. And that was uh, definitely the green card we wanted. We've talked about it a little bit already. Is it possible to get more than seven super rares? Did I miscount when I was watching other people's videos? I guess we'll find out. Seedramon, Blossomon, another Betamon. Do I have a full set yet? I meant of that play set I was looking for. A few more yellows going. Argamon. Mega Gargamon. I don't know if we've pulled you yet. And Breath of the Gods. All right, back in. We got Holy Wave. More Argomon. Positron Laser. I'll take as many of these as I can get for Rookie Rush. Speaking of Rookie Rush, I would absolutely take repeat rares if they're Vmon or X Vmon. Bancho Stingmon. Another one of those. Eden's Javelin. That's new. Dark Despair. Oh, this is another card that would have been great to pull. The uh, big purple super rare of the set. Lady Devimon, speaking of purple. I think it's, I don't know if they do that on purpose or not, but I feel like I keep pulling like two sets of rares of the same color or there's a lot of like similar colored cards in the same pack. Might just be pure coincidence. Hey, Argo Mom. Only one copy. So good, too good. Bio Mom. Death Parade Blaster. A few more repeats. Another Clavis Angemon. Oh my, what? We got another super rare in here. Durandamon as our rare, which we've gotten. And Grand Kalagamon. Can you go to eight? I must have miscounted in the other videos. Or I'm the, uh, the luckiest pack opener of all time. This card is probably, I, I'll admit it. I'll, uh, I'll sort of downplay the hype. I would say it's maybe one of the weaker of the uh, super rare cards in the set. But still, uh, really cool to see. It's got piercing, and on your turn, it's a lot more powerful. It's still not bad. Like it, You could definitely play it. Pretty much any of the super rares are just like good by default. Still, I didn't know you could go to eight. We'll take those. The Giromon, haven't seen you in a minute. Clockmon, definitely got a full set of Clockmon. Goldramon, that is amazing art. <laughs> Gigimon, Gigimon, I'm so bad. <laughs> Black Godumon. Hey, well, we got another copy of the Rare Angel Woman, which uh, basically can stop a opponent from attacking security the turn that you drop it keep you alive a little longer common theme in yellow and testament the other rare yellow card which can just straight up give a digimon blocker for a turn blocker is normally super sought after it's a very rare ability in the digimon card game but it's your only way to block incoming attacks so it, it is super useful this last pack like every single other pack of opened has been cooperative and this one is just so stubborn it's like no i don't want to open i don't want it to be over our 24th pack. We got Blossomon. 
Oh my gosh, guys, guys, I don't want to freak out. <laughs> maybe I maybe I counted wrong. Where it's you get seven super rares and then two alt art or better. In which case, oh man, let's get on let's get on the Digimon card game 1.5 wild ride. Code cracking, Airdramon, Poromon, another Vmon, which is one of the rares I was specifically asking for repeats, and we're ending it with something special. Another Ragnar Lordmon. No, not another. That's our first Ragnar Lordmon. I was thinking of the other red and black card that we've got. Yeah, we have Blitz Greymon. These level sevens are extremely good. Red, I feel like, has the most support for those like extremely high number endgame boss monsters. And we we pulled red like crazy. So yeah, there you go. We got nine. I counted wrong. <laughs> Which is great. I've never been happier to be wrong about something in my life. Let's go ahead. Quick look over. My super rares are better. But yeah, like look at all the red we got. Because we got red there. Technically red here with Crest Gururumon. It's a black card, but works with red. Blitz Greymon. Crest Gururumon alternate art. So yeah, again, red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black. And then finally, of course, the big red black, the biggest card in the whole set. Omnimon Alter S. That's amazing. We also got Old Force Vidramon. Grand Kuagamon, where I was started to be surprised. Like, oh wait, you can get more than seven? Sarismon and Craniumon, the big defender. That's my box opening. As always, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. I know I don't do like openings or content like this that often, but uh, when Bandai reached out to make some content about the Digimon card game, I just couldn't help myself because I was so excited. It's like as soon as I started making Digimon content, they started to add new Digimon stuff. Oh, hey, here's a new Digimon remake anime. Here's a brand new Digimon card game. It's coming out in English. Uh, so everything has sort of really come together and it, it's really fun to open. It's fun to look at. And as I talked about in the last video, it's really fun to play. As you guys can see, we're all out of packs. We're all out of content. We ended with a super rare. I can't ask for too much more. I'll see you guys next time with more card game, board game, video game shenanigans.